Hey everyone, thank you for watching. Today's video I'm so excited to do, it is just going to be a little haul here. So I did some shopping on Amazon Prime Day. I thought I would show you what I picked up. I also went to Sephora recently and grabbed a couple of items. And I went to a kind of marketing party that was here in Vegas for Cosmoprof and I went home with one of the items that was there. So thought I would just do a little collective haul today. I have some beauty, I have some fashion, some hair around the home. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, welcome. So I like to start with my outfit of the day. So today I have on my sandals from Target, just some black shorts from Express and this top here. I think I got it from Laura's Boutique many, many moons ago. I thought it was funny because I just went and got my nails done today, if you can see those. And me and my nail lady were wearing the same sandals from Target. I quite enjoyed that. So I will link everything that I'm wearing down below. Just get done filming this makeup look here. It's already up on YouTube because I did purchase the new Natasha Denona mini bronze palette. So I have my first impression video that is up on YouTube if you want to check out how I got this look. Otherwise, everything will be linked down below. I'll link everything that I am hauling in today's video. And I do like to say if you use my affiliate links, I thank you so much for your support. Also, if you are not yet subscribed here, I hope that you will. I post about four to five times a week. I mainly focus on beauty videos, but I also do books, fashion, lifestyle, and just living in Las Vegas. All right, so I think I will start with Amazon first because that's what I have the most of right here. So Amazon Prime Day was last week. It was a two-day event, so certain items on the Amazon website were discounted. So I had my eye on a few different things that I wanted. And then once all the deals were posted, I was really going through everything and trying to see what would be the best deal. So one thing that I really wanted to grab, and I was excited that this was on sale, this is a from NYX Cosmetics, and this is their, this is a Milky Gloss. And I got the shade Cookies in Milk. I really like this gloss. I was wondering if the other one would be sitting in front of me, but it's probably in my purse because I wear it so much. But I did also purchase Milk and Honey from this line from Ulta Beauty probably like last month or so. And I have been talking about it so highly. I reviewed it recently in a ranking video. I've been wearing it so much. So when I saw that NYX was gonna be discounted during the Prime Day sale, I was like, I am definitely gonna pick up another one of these glosses. And this one is very cool toned, which I think will be super pretty. The glosses are gorgeous. And again, NYX is already pretty affordable, but then with it being on sale, I was like, might as well add to cart. I have not opened this yet because this just arrived. I actually have two more packages that are supposed to be coming tonight, but they were supposed to be here yesterday, then they got delayed. I don't know if they're actually coming and it says delivering by 10 p.m. So I was like, I'm just gonna film this video because I don't know when they're coming. But this just arrived. Let's open it together because I'm a little bit nervous about it. I was scrolling through the TikTok as one does and I saw a girl with beautiful hair and she was like, let me show you how I get these curls. And to my surprise, she pulled out a crimper and I was like, what? Because she had curls like how I have curls when I come home from my hair stylist, which clearly has not been today has not been today. And I don't know how to do those curls. Like when my stylist curls my hair, I try to watch her, but I also don't have a curling iron with a clamp to it. I just have a wand, a barrel. I don't know what you call that. That's all I have. So I always just wrap it around versus like being able to put it in a clamp. So when I saw her video, I was like, wait, what is she using? And then she pulled this out and I was like, huh? So I bought it. I bought it. Am I going to be able to figure it out and make my hair look like hers? I don't know. Do I also feel like this is hysterical that I'm buying something like this? Yes, because this is what I used to own many moons ago and got rid of it. Uh, so we're gonna try it out. I did text my friends and said in case anyone was wondering about how my mental health is doing, because I'm on the elimination diet for health reasons right now. So I've cut out dairy, eggs, red meat, sugar, caffeine, alcohol, all the things. So I've been kind of just hanging at my apartment most days. So I texted my girlfriends and I said, in case you need to like check in on my mental health, I just bought a crimper. So that's where we're at. So I'm probably gonna do a little video with this. I wanted to do it today, but today got away from me. So stay tuned. I'm gonna be trying this one out probably for TikTok, which is by Samantha March. Um, but maybe I'll put it up on my Instagram, which is March Beauty Words. So if you want to see if I can get those, like, because it, it looked like she curled her hair. It didn't look like she, 
was crimping it. I was like, what? I had to get it. I had to try it out. A practical purchase that I got. I bought a new tripod. So it comes like this. I'm not sure if I have to assemble this, but my tripod that I'm filming on right now broke a couple weeks ago. And I mean, I've had it for such a long time. I remember, right, my mom gifted this to me when I first started YouTube and decided like, I really wanted to keep going with YouTube. So this was probably from like 2016 or something like that, that I've had my tripod. So it broke the, like when I try to crank up to make it go higher, it just falls back down. And I was like, you know what? Maybe it's best to get a new one. And then, you know, this one, I can still use it. So that way I'll have two around the apartment or I can throw it in my car, like traveling, like things like that. Um, if I'm ever doing any vlogging or anything, but this is the one that I purchased. It's just an Amazon one. And I mean, it held up really well throughout all these years. It took a long time for it to have any sort of issues. So I can link this if you are looking for a tripod if you are a youtuber or you just need a tripod for whatever reason it may be this is one that i really enjoyed and i didn't think that it was a bad price tag and then i also bought this light so this could also be you know if you are a i always say blogger because i'm so old school but if you are a content creator or you just like taking pretty photos this light is bomb.com i went out the other day for uh, an influencer event and everybody had lights like this and i was like i need one of these asap I don't know if you'll be able to tell but you can turn it on you can switch of like how light or how dark it is and then you can also switch like different modes there's like brighter yeah you see that Oh my gosh, everybody had this out. And it also does come with a little clip here. So I was borrowing one because I was vlogging the night and I just clipped this onto my phone. And then when I was vlogging, we actually had light. When we were taking photos, everyone had their lights. I mean, it's just so much nicer and it works so much better than the flash on my phone. Cause I was like, well, I don't know. Like sometimes I just use my flash if I'm in a dark setting. This, this right here is a game changer. So again, if you like taking nice photos or if you do any sort of content creator content, I would highly suggest this light. I've had this on my wish list for such a long time and I finally got it. So it's this, you might be wondering, what is that? This is actually a candle warm. It came with a couple different bulbs. So you put that in there and then you plug it in and then you would set your candle like so and then you have a candle warmer. I just thought this was adorable. I thought it would match my office really well also. And one thing that I've been kind of struggling with as I've been running into some health issues is really bad brain fog. And there has been times where I have left my apartment to take a walk and I forgot to blow out my candle. There's been times where like I forget to shut the oven off. Things that are like genuinely scaring me because I'm afraid I'm gonna hurt myself. And you might have noticed, I do not have that candle lit very often because I'm afraid I'm gonna forget to blow it out because something something's wrong right now. It's the reason why I'm on the elimination diet to see if it's something about food. I've been working with a naturopathic doctor. I have a whole playlist uh, kind of dedicated to what's been happening there. But I've been really looking into something like doing a candle warmer instead, um, just to make me feel a little bit better and i just thought this one was very aesthetically pleasing so i purchased this and i think it's cute and then so just I a couple of fashion items i bought a new swimsuit i was kind of hoping this would come in i had a friend's birthday party on saturday i was kind of hoping it would be here for that but it wasn't but that's okay because I live in Las Vegas and we will have summer until November. So plenty of time to wear a swimsuit, but it's just this one piece. I love the bright orange. I'm just a feeling on this color right now. And then it has these different cutouts here and a little tie. I just thought that this was super cute. Hopefully it fits okay. We shall see, but I just, I loved the color and I've been really getting into more like one pieces as well. I bought a one piece swimsuit for the Michaela and Glamlight launch party. It was a pool party in LA. I also have a vlog up of that and I was just really drawn to the one piece there. So when I saw this, I was like, you know what? I'm gonna grab it. So you can never have too many swimsuits living in the desert. Okay. And then I did also buy a new pair of shoes. I don't, I'm really, I'm not that big of a shoe girl. I think I went through a moment there where I was really buying a lot of shoes and then it was like, I feel like I have all the shoes that I need. But now I saw these and I was like, wait, 
I feel like I really could use these. So again, just got these in. I haven't even tried them on yet. I ordered a seven and a half. So let me just slip these on. These fit good. Okay, let's see if I can. Yeah, these fit good. So seven and a half, that's my usual size. I feel like they almost could be a little bit on the small size, but it's like an actual like perfect, perfect fit. Oh, okay. I like these. I don't have a lot of like, I feel like these are kind of like an in-between type of shoe. It's like I either have heels, sneakers, or flip-flops. Like even my sandals that I'm wearing from Target today, like they're definitely more casually, casually sandals. And this, I liked that it didn't have a too high of a heel. I liked that it wasn't like a stiletto or anything like that, but it's still casual. Like I can just throw these on with like, I was gonna say jeans, but we're not really wearing jeans, like jean shorts or skirts or dresses. And it's not like too much, but it's better than just throwing on flip flops. <gasps> oh, yay. They had a lot of different colors. This is the one that I chose because this sums me up, but I'm excited about these. I did also order this drop handbag. I thought that it looked really cute and I believe it was like 40% off, I wanna say. This is one of the packages that hasn't come in yet, but I wanted to show it to you because I just thought that it looked fun. But I typically wear a wristlet. I just wear like a black Michael Kors clutch. I have it on me all of the time. And then I have like my Dior bag if I'm doing something a little bit fancier or nicer, but I don't like to take that one out all the time because I'm always like very paranoid about it for sure. And then I do have another purse um, that's kind of, it, it kind of looks like maybe like a Chanel dupe. I don't even remember where I got it. I think it was just like an online boutique that I saw so I have that one but I wanted something that still was kind of more of like a wristlet but just a little bit different and so I saw this one and I was like I don't know that looks cute so I can't say for sure yet if I like it because I haven't seen it yet so I'm wondering like how big it is how much I will be able to put in it but I did also purchase that from Amazon Prime Day and I got a new laptop that will be here soon as well so I'm excited to have a new laptop finally. I will link everything that I hauled in my description box. I do also always have my Amazon storefront linked down there too. And I just have ongoing favorites list there. I haven't broke them down by like around the home. Um, I think I have like kitchen, fashion, fitness, uh, beauty, of course. I did do a separate one for Amazon Prime Day and I'll leave that up for a little while too. So if you ever wanna check that out, that is always in my description box. But let me show you what I picked up from this beauty event that I went to in Vegas. Okay, so earlier in the week, I went to an event with other influencers and brand owners. It was really fun. It was really cool to meet a lot of people, but kind of the reasoning behind it was because Cosmoprof was here in Las Vegas. So that is basically like a really big beauty convention. There's a lot of different brands that come in. Um, they take over, I believe it was at the Las Vegas Convention Center, I think. Um, so a lot of different booths. I didn't go to Cosmo Prof myself. I kind of wish I would have, but I didn't go myself, but I did get invited to this party. And there was this brand there called Lash Artisan and they had what's called Elevate Brows. This is a DIY brow lamination kit. Does anyone think that I will be able to pull this off successfully? It says, get your worthy arches. Elevate takes your unruly, overplucked, or thinning brows and smooths them out while lifting the hair in a vertical direction. The result is a long-lasting, super smooth, fuss-free, fuller brow look. So I want to do a video seeing if I can make this work because what I say in my videos is that I like makeup does not come naturally to me. It takes me a little bit longer to figure things out. And so something like this, I'm like, could I actually pull this off? So inside you have all the different tools and everything, all the different strips that you need. There is obviously a card. And she said, if you scan the QR code, it'll pop up like a video. Um, showing exactly how to do it. She said each step is supposed to take like six minutes, so it's supposed to be super quick. So if you wanna see a video here on YouTube, let me know, um, or if you'd rather just me do it on like TikTok or Instagram reel, something a little bit shorter, I could do that. But if you want something a little bit longer, more in depth, and you want it here on YouTube, let me know. But I actually just talked recently in a video that I was interested in doing brow lamination, and I was gonna start looking into places around here. And then they were at the party and I was like, 
I would like to try that, please. So they sent me home with one, so I'm definitely gonna be trying this out. I'm very curious how it's gonna work on me. And then finally, like I mentioned, I did go to Sephora. So my main reason for going was to grab the mini bronze palette. And I, the mini bronze palette launched, I'm not sure when this video is going up, but the palette launched Tuesday the 19th, and I went on Sunday. But I saw a comment come in from someone saying that you saw the palette available at the Venetian on the strip, and I was like, wait, what? So I went to the Sephora website, and sure enough, it said there was uh, limited stock at both Venetian and Caesars, and I was like, well, I gotta go get it. So I ran down to Caesars to the forum shops, and it wasn't even out on display yet. The guy had to go get it from the back, but I was able to purchase it. So like I said, I have a full first impression here on YouTube, swatches, comparisons to the bronze palette, and also this eye look that I have on right here. And then just my first thoughts on using the palette, what I think about it. So that is up on YouTube and I'll have some more looks coming to my Instagram. Again, is March Beauty Word. But then of course I can't just go to Sephora and buy one thing. So I did also purchase the new Lancome foundation. I talked about this in my last Will I Buy It video. This is their Tenty Dole Ultra Wear Care and Glow Foundation. So this has SPF 27 and I got the shade 330N. Looks like so. I really like the Lancome Tenty Dole foundation. It kind of got dethroned over the years, but that one I really enjoyed. Also the Lancome Tenty Dole concealer is a favorite of mine. I wear it all the time. So when I saw this and it's supposed to have medium buildable coverage and it's supposed to give a more natural finish, those are my sweet spots when it comes to foundation. So I was like, okay. I'm gonna try it out. So again, let me know if you want to see a wear test here on YouTube. I'm not sure if people still really enjoy wear test videos, um, or I could just do some small demos on the other platforms, and I can include this in a trying new makeup. I'm gonna be doing a trying new makeup soon, so I could use that in there as well. Uh, I did announce on my Instagram and like my Facebook group, but uh, one of the girls that I met last week is a party planner. She had a package that she put together for August um, for women visiting Las Vegas, and I'm actually hopping on to the package and we're gonna have like a little Sam Squad meetup before it too. So I have more details on my Instagram and I will be chatting about it more in a YouTube video, but the dates for that are August 26th through the 28th and it is through Vegas Girls Night Out. I do have a link in my description box as well if you wanna check out the different packages that Brie put together. One includes a hotel room stays at Resorts World, one is just the like dinner, drinks, pools, clubs, everything else that is included in there. And then I'm also gonna be doing gift bags for anyone that has the hotel room. So you can kind of have like a welcome bag when you come there. And then depending on how many people sign up, I wanna see if we could do like dinner or um, spa, like just like with our group instead of with everybody. So that's what I'm planning for August. So stay tuned, that's what my next uh, try to get ready with me will be all about, but I have more details on my Instagram as well, or the link in my description box will take you there too. But I will be trying the Lancome in my next video as well, and I'm really excited because I like testing out new foundations. I had mentioned in my Will I Buy It that I was curious about that one and the Hourglass, but I was leaning more towards Lancome, and then they happen to have it already in store. So I picked up both of those from Sephora. But other than that, that is going to do it for my haul today. A little bit of a collective haul for this one. And like I said, I'll have everything linked down below. If you wanna check out this makeup look, this is already up on YouTube. But as always, if you enjoyed this one, please make sure to give it a thumbs up. I hope you also consider subscribing before you go and I'll see you in my next video.